We have fake AirPod Max. So I did a short video on this and you guys wanted to see a little more about what differences these have with the real ones. So I did something crazy and I spent a thousand Canadian dollars on real AirPod Maxes. So these are the fake ones. Now, I didn't think they were so bad, but when I have a look at the real ones, I'm probably gonna feel a lot differently. So let's check out the real ones first and then let's do a comparison. These are the original AirPod Maxes and they actually come in two packages. You have to buy the cushion separately, which is so stupid, but that's just the Apple way. So we're gonna open this up. Does this crack open? It's kind of like an egg. All right, and this is the original AirPod Maxes. So here it is. These are the original Apple AirPod Maxes. Let's check it out. Ooh, fancy. Again, for $1,000, uh, like I don't know how impressed I'll be, but these feel amazing. And they got, they got weight to them. They're pretty heavy. We'll remove the seal and we'll take... Oh, so they do come with cushions. Okay, don't know why I did that. Anyway, I'll use those for the gym, I guess. All right, so these feel extremely premium, which is to be expected. That goes smoothly, unlike the fake AirPod Maxes. So first thing I noticed, obviously from the fake, these feel extremely premium, they're heavy. The etching on the actual cups is done properly. And as soon as you put them on, the noise cancellation kicks in right away. You can't hear anything. These are actually really, really cool. Again, for the price point, not worth it, but for a premium user, you'll probably love these. Now I'm gonna put these side by side with the fake ones and we're gonna really dig down and see what the real differences are. All right, so we have them side by side and these ones are a lot heavier than these ones. Let's see if these are interchangeable and they aren't. Cool. All right, so the first thing I did notice is the case is magnetic. These ones are Velcro. The higher end fakes also are magnetic, but obviously this is not the case. The button placement is all the same, but when you hold them like this, you can feel that this mesh has a lot of resistance where this mesh would just budge. We actually did search up the serial number on the box of these fake AirPod Maxes and it turned out that they were actually attached to a like a real pair of AirPod Maxes. So if you were to search the serial numbers on a fake product, you probably won't get a result that's true. So that's not a reliable way to find out if a product is real or not anymore. It's also extremely hard to adjust the head strap. The real ones also seem to be made of metal, whereas the fakes are clearly made of plastic. These do not seem to be high-end replicas, but if you do get high-end replicas, it may be hard to actually find out whether they are real or not. If you are ever buying these used, make sure you try out the noise cancellation and the spatial audio. Those are dead giveaways, whether it's real or not. These have a real wow factor when it comes to those, and with the fakes, it's just non-existent. So if you are buying these used, absolutely try out spatial audio and noise cancellation, and you'll know whether they're real or not. And easy connect might not be so easy on the fake ones, whereas the real ones, it should connect almost seamlessly. The etching on this fake one is terrible, while the real one looks really clean. You wanna make sure that they pause when they're removed and that the case turns them off. If you can still play music while the AirPod Maxes are in the case, you have a fake one. Anyway guys, that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next one.